These are all my new guys. This is a female pastel. She's pretty big actually to be fair. She's just about to eat her dinner, I do believe. Um, up here, I'm not sure what this is right now, but it's a bright yellow albino red-eyed python. Looking gorgeous. It's not come out for his dinner just yet. It's got some white on there. A little leopard gecko in there. A normal royal in there, baby, but he's took his prey inside. And then over here we've got Mr. Man over there, Buddy, a bit of dragon. He's a good boy. He's, only, he's still getting used to me. And then over here we got Kenny, looking beautiful in bright colours. He's he's happy. When they're nice and bright, means they're happy in a good mood. So there he is. So that's his enclosure. Absolutely huge. And then that's his enclosure, absolutely huge. I'm trying to get as big as I can. She's quite a big snake, so I've given her as big as I can, as deep as I can. These ones are big enough for these two snakes here. This is only a little gecko, as you can see there, so... She's got a two foot enclosure. This is getting ready for something yet, yeah, I don't know what yet, yeah, some sort of snake I'm thinking. I might get a tree, green tree snake or something, but I don't know. Um, yeah. So what we got, we've got three different pythons, a chameleon, and two geckos, and a bit of dragon, and then I'm going to get something to go in there. I might even just get a normal roll to go in there. But we'll put that one at the bottom in there because she likes to climb. I think, well, he's a male definitely. The yellow one's a male, 100%. That one's a female, 100%. The bottom one, someone's coming around to sex to probe for me, sex for me, so we'll see. I'm not sure what that one is yet. I think one at the bottom is a female because she's very long for such a young snake. So I'm guessing she's a female. Who's this little dude here? Look. Look at this cute little thing he is. Isn't he a baby? If he's not a baby, then obviously he's just, you know, one of the small types, but I've had one exactly the same pattern and colours as this, and it wasn't the small type, so I'm guessing. He's a baby. Looks like a baby to me anyway, and that's his long, like I said, lovely enclosure. You're laid right next to your rat, you still ain't got it yet, your donut. She was waiting for me to bug off probably. How are you doing, mister? Would you like some roaches yet down there? Are you hungry yet? I'm sure that's paint on him down there. I just got him today, but he's got paint all over him. Stuck shed everywhere. He keeps getting a black beard every now and again, but at the moment he's he's trying he's starting to accept me, I think. There's a close up, he's a big boy. Underweight, but he's a big boy. He's got a lot of bright orange colours on him and blues and stuff. Just need to get that horrible old skin off him and he'll look lovely. So that's him, that's Buddy, my boy Buddy. We'll get a sticker and a name tag for his door soon. But anyway, I'll show you his enclosure. He's got Beardy Life Desert Sand, which is like a clay sand soil type mix. A nice big chunk of wood there. His water bowl. This is a 4x2x2, by two by two. so he's got plenty of room in there. Oh, there's my other gecko come out. Look, there he is. Or she is. I'm not even sure yet. Probably run off again. Very shy. That one is. Very shy. I think she just noticed a different tank up there. I think she just noticed a snake, maybe, actually. She never looks over there. She always knows a bit. She knows something, but she never looks over there. Hmm. Okay. You should not gone for your dinner yet, have you? Look in there. You can see the colours of my snake. Look at that gorgeous snake. She hasn't come out yet, that's all. Right, you should not got your dinner yet, is it? Because I'm still there. I'm going downstairs now for my McDonald's anyway. So I'll be leaving the turt mush. So you carry on. You eat your dinner, mate. Roaches are in here. All under there, somewhere. Quite a few of them. Bust the heat out on there to keep them warm. Some carrot. Just gonna get a few egg boxes to put in there. Just leave them to it, see if anything happens. Hopefully it does. It's all right before anyway. Nice big water bowl in there. I do like that water bowl. It's a nice one. We'll see you doing. There's a worm down there somewhere. Are you feeling it under your foot? Yeah. In the toilet, drinking the water from your butt. Well, they must do drink water from their butt. I didn't know they drank water from the butt. <laughs> I didn't know you drank water from your own butt. 
Uh, blood. What are you drinking water from your bum bum for? You funny boy. Or girl. We'll go to Lazy Mavis. No, you ain't that afraid. She lost a bit. I don't know if she lost weight, but she hasn't ate for a while. Her tail's got a bit thin. I don't know what's wrong with her. I can't get her to eat off the tongs. I can't. She goes to play and trusted a bowl, but then she doesn't eat it. So at the moment, I don't know what's going on with her. I'm not 100% sure right now. But we we'll get there. She'll be alright. You remember these all rescues, so. All these rescues have all different problems that I've got to sort out. All I do know is none of them's got mites. If they have, I can't find them. They're not up in there. If, I, if they have, I've not seen them. This one's not. This one was rescue, but we've had them a long time. In. We've had them for probably nearly a year. He's our boy, Kenny. Such a lovely, good boy. Loves coming out. Oh shit! 